Hello people! Today I'm going to showcase Lingua Franca Nova, or as some might call it, LFN. Lingua Franca Nova is a constructed language created by C. George Bowie in 1965. It's an international auxiliary language like Esperanto and Tokima. History and creation. The construction started in the year 1965 by C. George Bowery, who recently died. He was a psychologist and professor at the Shippensburg University in Pennsylvania. The goal was to create a simple and understandable international auxiliary language. His inspiration was the Roman pidgin language Zabia, spoken in the Mediterranean as a lingua franca. The lexicon is based on French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish and Catalan, only Romance languages. It was first presented in 1998 and was further developed. Groups and texts popped up in the 2000s. It was given an ISO designation, LFN, in the year 2008. In 2012, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland was published by Simon Davies, which was the first fully translated LFN novel. The website got remade in 2014, the URL is elephant.org. In 2018, the official Wikipedia in Elephant was launched. The first original novel, La Cherche per Pahoa, was written by Vicente Costa Lago, under the pseudonym of Kabi, in 2020. Tragically, C. George Bowery died on January 5th, 2021 due to cancer. Phonetics and writing system. Usually, LFN is written with a Latin script, but there is also a parallel Cyrillic script. Elephant's vowels A, E, I, O, U are like in Spanish or Italian. Also, there is some variation. There are a few diphthongs like I, AU, EU and OI. I and U are also used like Y and W. The consonants are usually pronounced like their counterparts in Romance languages. Similar to, for example, French, the H can be silent and is usually pretty rare. Despite the letters here, uh, there are other letters in the alphabet that can be used for foreign words and names. Vocabulary. Well, like I said, the vocabulary is mainly based on Romance languages, because it was inspired by Sabir. Because of that, it can be fairly understandable for people that know Latin or other Romance languages. Grammar. The grammar is, like you'd expect, pretty regular. It has subject, verb, object, word order. The plural is formed with either s or es as a suffix. There are 22 prepositions which determine the noun's role. Nouns are usually introduced with an article or a determiner. All these precede the noun except ordinal numbers. The personal pronouns are also quite regular. The third person singular, though, is quite irritating for Germanic or Slavic language speakers. El is for people and higher animals, lo is for the rest, and on is like the English one, the French on, or German man. There are three tenses, present, past and future, and the conditional mood. Each is written with a particle, which is, interestingly, not a prefix. Adverbs are written in front of the verb, but all other modifiers, like adjectives, follow the word they modify. Now we come to an example. I am going to read the Lord's Prayer in LFN. Nusa Padre, qui es in la cielo, ta que tua nom es santida, ta que tua rena veni, ta que tua vole aveni, sur la terra como en la cielo. Dona oggi nos apan dial a nos, e perdona nos adetas, como nos perdona nos adetores, e no laza nos cade en tenta, ma libri nos de malia. Amen. You see that it really sounds like a Romance language. I was thinking of Italian or so. 
Despite being a constructed language, it looks naturalistic and is quite understandable. I have never learned it, but because I know a few bits of Latin and French, it is quite comprehensible. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Until next time.